her down all the way down there, David. Here we go past three in a row, Pan. We do. It is a common daker. Hello. Who has spotted us, but doesn't seem to be too phased just yet. Not dashing away as they normally do. Hello, big ears. And they do. They always look a bit out of proportion, the common daker. So this is the second smallest antelope that we see in this area. And the smallest one is, of course, the Stienbok. Hello, little guy. Or little girl, sorry. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, got a bit of a spring in your step this morning. Let's see, I'm, I'm quite curious as to see what she's up to. Walking down the road, she's walking straight towards us. She's still quite far off. I wonder if she's looking for something. See how she's smelling, being very careful where she puts her feet as to not make too much noise. And those ears are also going crazy, listening out. And it's actually quite interesting. You see it a lot with kudu in Yala, Stienbok, Dacre, the animals that tend to live in the thicker vegetation types. Have you noticed when they walk, how they normally only have three feet on the ground at once, and one is always sort of put, foot is uh, off of the ground. And I think that's an amazing adaption. Um, you know, you see, look how, because they're very jumpy, of course, and they do live in the thicker vegetation. Like I said, they really have to watch where they put their feet. And that's just amazing to see just how cautious she really is. She's very skittish, but she's still coming closer towards us, so maybe she hasn't realized that we're here yet. Because this is very unusual. I'm sure she can hear the sound of my voice. You can see she keeps lifting her head up. But she seems to be distracted by many other things this morning. Hello, girl. And she looks like she may have a little common daker inside there. Hey, David? She does look quite, quite um, on, uh, on the plump side, don't you think? Big belly. It's possible that she's going to give birth, and off she goes again, trottling, trottling, trundling along the road. Beautiful, shiny coats, though. It's not often that we get sightings like this with a common daker. Normally it's a quick two-second view and then they go darting off. But luckily we spotted her from quite a distance. So she obviously feels relatively comfortable whether she knows we are here or not. She has to be able to hear us because I'm not talking softly. I'm just talking in my normal voice, which is shouting for most people. <laughs> and there she goes. And I'm sure she'll feel a lot more comfortable in that long grass where she is sheltered. You always see when they're out in the open like that acting a little bit nervous.